All right, hi guys. This video is going to go over um, some prop the, the workbook pages 112 and 113. Um, these problems are pretty tricky. I'm not gonna lie. They are taking kind of everything we know about area and perimeter and kind of joining it together in some challenge problems. So please listen to this video and listen to how I solve them because I think it will be super helpful to you, okay? So it says, the figure shows a small rectangle and a large rec and a large rectangle. So I'm gonna stop. So I see there's like a big one and I see like a little small one right here. Find the area of the shaded part of the figure. So I wanna know the area of like this gray part right here. So what I try to do and what they're trying to get you to do right here is they're scaffolding it for you down at the bottom. And if you follow these steps, you will solve the problem. So again, when I'm looking at this problem, if I wanna find the area of this shaded part, it's kind of tricky. Um, because there's a piece of it that's been cut out. So what I always think is, if I'm trying to find a piece, is can I find the area of the whole thing and then get rid of the little piece and whatever's left is gonna be the area of that. So let's follow this first and then I'll see if I can give us another strategy as well. So it says first find the area of the large rectangle, meaning this whole thing right here, the whole rectangle. So I know area is length times width, so how long it is times how wide it is. So I know that this side of the whole thing is 16, and the long side of the whole shape, well, if this side's 12, and this side is 6, I know that whole side is 18. So I'm doing 16 times 18. You can use a calculator for this, um, but you um, can also solve it off on the side. So just to speed things up a little bit so this video isn't forever long. I'm going to just do 16 times 18, and I got 288. So I know that the area of this entire thing is 288 feet squared. Now I want to find the area of the small rectangle. So again, I'm going to do length times width. So I see that this is 6, and then I need to figure out how long this side is. Well, let's see. If this piece is 7, and I'm trying to find that piece right there, if I look at the opposite side of this rectangle, I see that this whole thing is 16. So I'm gonna get rid of that seven. And I know that 16 minus seven gets me to nine. So I know that this is nine. So if I wanna figure out the area of this small thing, I have to do nine times six, which gets me to 54. So I know that the whole thing is 288 and this small one is 54. So what I'm gonna do then is I wanna get rid of this small piece so that I can figure out how much is left in this shaded part right here. So I'm gonna do my whole thing 288. I'm gonna get rid of the 54 and I'm gonna actually subtract 288 minus 54 and I get 234. So the shaded area of the, of the area of the shaded part is 234 square feet, okay? Um, all right, let's come over here and let's solve this one, this one says the figure shows a small rectangle, again, I see that little one, and a large rectangle, which is the whole thing. They want me to find the area of the shaded figure. This is the same thing we just did. So I'm gonna first find the area of the whole entire thing. Then I can find the area of this little piece and then get rid of it. And if I get rid of it, whatever's left is that shaded part. So let's do the large rectangle first. I know the area is how long it is times how wide it is. So I see that the length is 15. Now I have to figure out the width. Well, if this side's four, then that side's four. If this is three, then that's three. And if that's four, then that's four. So eight, nine, 10, 11. So this side is 11. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do 15 times 11. 15 times, oops, I did minus. 15 times 11, and that gets me 165. So now I know the area of the whole thing is 165. Now I'm gonna do the area of the small rectangle. This little thing, I see that it is four inches long, and I see that's three inches wide, and I know four times three is 12. So the area of that is 12 inches squared. So again, if I know this is 12, I wanna get rid of that 12 to see what's left. So I'm gonna take the area of the whole thing, which was 165. I'm gonna take away the area of the small one, which was 12. And then I'm gonna do 165 minus 12, and that got me to 153. So I know that this is 153 um, square inches. We're gonna keep practicing this, but hopefully this was helpful and gave you a better understanding of how to solve these problems. All right, bye guys.